Good morning, everybody. <laughs> so I think you all know me, but my name is Jade, and I want to give, live the good life, which is why it's so good we've been talking about that in church the last couple of weeks. But before we get started, I need to invite Nevi, my daughter, up, because she said she's got something to tell me. What was it you needed to tell me? I stole a cookie from your cookie jar. Say that a little bit louder. I stole a cookie from your cookie jar. You stole a cookie from my cookie jar. The last one. The really big one with the chopped chips and the sprinkles and the caramel swirl. Oh, no. Okay. So I could get really angry and upset with Nevi. I could fold my arms like this and say, I'm not talking to you anymore. But I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to forgive Nevi and I don't know if Nevi knows this, but in our house, if you steal a cookie from the cookie jar, you have to pay a $100 fine. But not only am I going to forgive Nevi, I'm going to pay the fine. I'm going to pay the $100. Okay. So I want you all to think about how Nevi must feel right now. She did something wrong. She came and confessed it to me. But instead of me turning away, I forgave her. So put up your hand if you can think of how Nevi must feel now. Yes. Amazed. Amazed. Really good. That's a good one. Zell, what do you, how do you think? Thankful. That's a great word. She must feel really thankful. Last one, Heidi. Happy. Happy. Yeah. She's got this weight lifted off her shoulders. She feels amazed and thankful and happy. Okay. Nevi, you can sit back down just for a little moment. So I want you to remember that feeling whilst we're talking about this. So the part of the Bible we're looking at today is from 1 John, and it tells us that living the good life means that you will struggle with sin. So sometimes you will want to take the cookie. You will want to steal it. But God's there to help us face it, and also we have an advocate with the Father. Now, an advocate seems like a big word, but it basically just means somebody who sticks up for you, who stands up for you. So when you do steal the cookie and you're standing in front of the judge, you're going to have someone there who says, not only is this person forgiven, but they're going to pay that $100 fine. Put up your hand if you know who that advocate is. Elsa? Jesus, that's right. So that's part of living the good life. We can feel that feeling and we can be confident that we're going to be forgiven for sins when we come to the Father. So before we pray and before we get our kids' sheets, I need to invite Nevi back up because Mr. Voice has got something he needs to say to Nevi. Can you say it really loud? Nevi, I ate your last cookie. Wait, you stole her last cookie and ate it? Her last one. Her very last one. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Before she reacts... Put up your hand if you know what Nevi should do. Because remember, she's had that feeling from earlier on. Sage? Forgive. That's right. She's felt that grace. She knows how amazing and thankful she should feel. So when that kind of thing happens to her, it's our job, living the good life, to forgive other people. Okay? So bow your heads and say, Dear God, thank you so much that you know we're going to struggle with sin you're there to help us face it and that you have given us an advocate. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen.